Hello guys, this is Gaurav from BitQuery. Today I am going to give you an overview of BitQuery APIs. What are the possible, uh, how can you access data through BitQuery APIs and what type of data you can access through BitQuery APIs. So obviously you know that uh, you can use our GraphQL ID to access blockchain data. We support like 40 plus blockchains. But many times people want to know like what type of data they can pull from our APIs and what are the supported data types. So we have like few main APIs and I'm going to go one by one with them. So let's just start. So one of the most used API is Dextrade API. Dextrade API will give you trades on from DEXs from multiple chains. For example, we support Ethereum, Avalanche, Polygon, BSC, uh, Matt, uh, Clayton, Velas, so a lot of EVM chains. Additionally, we are going to add Solana and other chains, which are layer two chains also. So for now, we have all the uh, many EVM chain support, and most of them have a DEXs. So using DEX APIs, you can query different types of DEX data. For example, Uniswap, PancakeSwap. We support hundreds of DEXs, so you can pull the trades, latest trades, you can aggregate data. For example, you can get data for a specific user, a specific uh, trader, you can get a specific amount trade, you can get trades for a specific time. Because of Dex trade APIs, you can get price of a specific token or at a specific time in the history. Um, you can get all the pairs of a token. So anything related to Dex trading, you get get all sorts of information using our Dex trade api so you can aggregate data also for example trading volume um, you can aggregate data on number of traders unique traders uh, number of pairs and like big pairs you can short things uh, you can aggregate through multiple dexes uh, if you want data from uniswap as well as sushi shop you can get that too you can get data for a specific uh, exchange also so all these possibilities are there with our Dex Trade API. The second API, which is used many times by compliance companies and sometimes tax companies too, um, CoinPath API, which gives you, um, which help you to follow money on blockchain. So it can give you all the outbounds from an address, for example, all the transfers from an address for a given hop. For example, if you want to know uh, if what are the addresses a given address sent money so you can get that and then you can also check what are those addresses who who sent uh, who has received money from the addresses which we are targeting so you can go through multiple hops also and same for inbound you can check which addresses sent money to given addresses you can check uh, if there is a transaction between two addresses uh, so what type of transactions were there, how many transactions were there, sort of those things. So CoinPath API is basically tracing money on blockchain between addresses. So CoinPath money helps you to, in compliance, mostly building investigation tools, sort of those things. Transfer APIs is transfers of tokens uh, on, for example, let's take up example Ethereum. So transfer API will give you uh, transfer of any token on ethereum blockchain any nft and sort of those things you can get uh, like uh, transfers for a given address uh, for example you can know how many tokens or different tokens an address received or sent what time he sent uh, sort of those information so uh, and you can aggregate for example over the time how many transfers or what was the amount of transfers and the actual amount in the transfers at address or receiver sent sort of those of things transfer api is pretty important in many cases usually portfolio um, tax tools sort of those things smart contract call apis now uh, smart contract call apis as the name suggests give you data from smart contract calls so there are multiple places where you want to uh, you don't get a specific api for example if you have a protocol which is some category which is not uh, very well uh, defined you can and but if you still want to data for your own protocol you can use a smart contract calls 
you can get arguments uh, all sorts of data from this thing you can also aggregate and we also support names the actual human readable names so uh, that makes things much easier same for events the event api also give you events data uh, any events on any blockchain we have all the data argument api works with both the smart contract call and smart contract events it gets you uh, it gives you more granular data related to arguments passed in the events or the smart contract calls you can actually aggregate uh, on on top of them for example you can get max value min value sort of those things in terms of address api address api has a balance api address api gives you great uh, details about an address for example um, the metadata what type of this address is a token a smart contract or simple wallet um, uh, if this is a smart contract then it can give you attributes of address um, then it has a balance api so address is uh, used used by mostly balance api can be used anywhere by many type of applications uh, then transaction api as name suggests it gives you transaction of a blockchain you can also uh, aggregate with transactions check for transaction for a given date receiver sender anything uh, with the blocks api it gives you data related to blocks it uh, blockchains block uh, with the input output api is specific to bitcoin or utxo blockchains where it gives you information about utxo inputs and outputs and other than that we have uh, if some specific chain has a different type of uh, structure we also open apis for them but these are general apis which are most used by uh, our users hopefully you understand uh, what type of data we provide the one important thing to remember is we we can aggregate data in any any way uh, so it's much much awesome for building some analytics and sort of those things at the same time you can get any you can get granular data like direct data simple uh, like uh, independent entities of data and sort of those things uh, using our own apis it's pretty flexible apis uh, we support graphql um, uh, I hope like you get an overview of BitQuery APIs. You can get access to this API by signing up on graphql.bitquery.io. Uh, you can check our website bitquery.io and check our explorer explorer.bitquery.io. I have created a lot of videos on how to get started with BitQuery APIs. You can check them in our channel or description below. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.